Hey, 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 Facebook, TGIF, everybody. Friday night here, somewhere around 10.30. I'm going to check in with you guys, see how everybody's doing. I know you guys are all up late on these Friday evenings. I had a beautiful day here in Cobbs Creek, Virginia. I can see the moon and the stars are out, full bore. The tree frogs are just out here chirping. Everybody was giving me some insight on what type of tree frog those things were. I've never seen that gray tree frog before. We were out here working on the deck and that thing was all crawled up in there. What's up, John? Good to see you, brother. I see your light, man. I see the light. As you can hear it out here, it's super peaceful and quiet. The frogs are just chirping. We got a perfectly clear night. Stars are everywhere. I want to share a couple of insights that we received today. As you can see over here on our back deck here on the swimming pool area. I bought some new lattice right there, so that's getting ready to go in. These stairs right here were rotted, so I bought the lumber for that already. So I'm gonna redo those stairs underneath the actual ones that support that. I busted that open so I can go under there and get rid of all those bushes and brush in here. As you can see, peace and quiet. You can't really see the stars, only the moon. Oh, there's one right there. The aqua one, third eye blind. So I hope you guys had a blessed Friday afternoon here. As you can see, it's nice and bright here in this spot. Got my Iowa State shirt on this evening. We are just watching a nice In the Wilderness movie. I'm gonna show you some insights about this guy, how he became resourceful. And how can we become resourceful? How do we make lemons out of lemonade and take our challenges and turn them into a gift and how also can we go ahead and take the glass and make it half full instead of half empty you know it's all perspective right we talked about this before in the past is everything's perspective so sitting here on this friday evening just pondering all these thoughts what's up john forget good to see you my brother absolutely gorgeous night down here peace and quiet nothing's moving Super still. The tree frogs just shut up when I came out here, which is ironic. Usually they make all that noise so you can't hear anything. The owl's not hooing and none of that good stuff. But I love being out here in nature. I love being out next to the water. I love being by next to the fire, being next to the moon, being next to the sun, right? Those are the four earth, wind, and fire. So it's pretty cool how those guys came up with the name of that band, Earth, Wind, and Fire. So I hope you guys had a great Friday evening. But ultimately, is how are we becoming resourceful? In times of challenging times and things in our life, to become resourceful. So I was watching this movie. This guy picked up from where he was, went up to Alaska. It was like 60 miles from Fairbanks. He hiked for nine days into the woods and built him and his wife a two-bedroom shack. And when they're living in the shack with all the lumber on the property out there, they built themselves this beautiful log cabin home with all of the materials out there. What's up, Josh? What's up, John? What's up, Ken? What's up, Jeff? Good to see you, Lenny. Late night, Friday night, Facebook Live here. Absolutely perfect night out here, man. Listen. Can't hear nothing. Not even the frogs are, are out here chirping this evening. But here's a guy. Lenny, you would appreciate this story, Lenny. Hello, Denise. Good to see you. Very resourceful. Yes, that's one of the power statements that I do in my meditation. I say I am resourceful. So you guys want a powerful, powerful tip? Anytime you want to manifest something in your life, just say I am before it. And it'll eventually show up. And congratulations, I saw Ken Lager on here. Congratulations to Ken. He started the nine day meditation challenge. Ken, this is some powerful stuff, man. You can't make this up. So Ken did his first day and he had all kinds of blessings happen to him. I love reading these stories. And every single time, this always happens to you when you allow the space for yourself to receive. And that's the beautiful thing about that. So if you guys want to do the nine day meditation, meditation challenge, I posted that link yesterday. You can go back and click on that thing there. But how do we become resourceful ultimately? There's always going to be obstacles. There's always going to be challenges. There's always going to be opportunities to turn lemons into lemonades. There's always opportunity to look at the glass half full or half empty. It's our choice. How to become more resourceful. I watched this movie. This guy went nine days into the woods of Alaska. Think about that. All these bears. They got black bears, grizzly bears, coyotes, wolves. You got you name it. He's got all kinds of danger out there. By himself, he hiked out there. 
He ended up taking down trees, built himself a little two-bedroom bungalow for him and his wife. And then over the course of several years, they took down more trees and built this beautiful log cabin. It looks like something out of a magazine. And they built it with their own hands. He said he went out there and just claimed the land on top of this mountain. He said a voice spoke to him. A woman's voice even spoke to him and said, stop here. And he made that his home. And there was a TV show where they're giving away the house now. And there's six couples that are fighting for this and who's worthy to take over this house. And the guy was getting emotional talking about leaving the property, but they're getting to that age now. They can't, they can't, it's not sustainable. Ended up building a, a greenhouse out there and they made a yard and they had their gardens and vegetables and all this stuff that he was resourceful for. We all have that. We can all be resourceful. So my challenge for you this evening is think about that. How can you become resourceful? Say those words, I am resourceful. And watch how the universe, God, whatever you believe in, starts manifesting what you speak. And that's real. We all have that within us. We can command that. On, on command, we can command those things. I'm commanding the universe to manifest into reality. How can we rise as one? Send the people by assignment. Send the resources. Send the abundance. Send the love. Send the joy. Send all the things that we require to end the suffering, to rise as one. And I ask that every day. Same thing over and over and over again. And eventually, your words will not return void. And that is the gift. Because you are a magician. You can play pretend just like you were in a little kid. I just watched a little video of a three-year-old boy walking down the street, waving his hand. Good morning, good morning, good morning. That's how we're supposed to be. Just being joyful, present in the moment. Right here, right now. Being resourceful. So today's message, this evening's message, this Friday, day 121. Be resourceful. Say those words, I am resourceful. Because you are resourceful. And when your back is against the wall, you will find a way. And this guy just went out there nine days hiking into the woods, finding his home that where he wanted to live in peace. And I can tell you one thing, that guy lived in peace. And like those guys that grew up on farms out there in Iowa and all these places, you guys know it's hard work. You got up 5 o'clock, and my Uncle George and everybody up there in upstate New York, they got 5 o'clock in the morning, and they went all day. And I'm sure they were having some moonshine at the end of those days too. But uh, ultimately is that when you're out there and you're one with nature and you find your calling, whatever that purpose is for you, go out there, be resourceful. Find that one thing that's going to really wake you up. We've been talking about this for a while now. We're in that spiritual awakening right now. As the world is standing still, it's slowly opening back up right now. I watched a beautiful thing on the recognition of the president today. He recognized like four or five people. One guy was a mailman. He was out there. He, he, he's in some poor town where he's like 600 customers. And he kept putting on private notes in each one of their mailboxes. If you need anything, because most of these people were elderly, please reach out to me. And like over 500 people responded. He was bringing out food and toilet paper and all these great things and blessings for the people. Some 16-year-old kid got up there. He was flying. He must be a pilot in the Navy, a fighter pilot. He was in flight school, and him instructor were flying around to four places here in northern Virginia next to Washington, D.C., being resourceful, going out there helping people. There's two other people we recognize, but that's how we can all be. We can all do those things. Take the attention off of us, and guess what? The stress goes away. The anger goes away. The resentment goes away. And you can just be, be in your image. You're created perfect in the image. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. We are far from perfect beings. But we're perfect in the image. Be that. Turn those lemons into lemonades. Drink that half full glass of water. It's all a matter of perspective. As your tree frog over there is talking to you, telling you that you are resourceful. I am sitting here informing you, you are resourceful. Good to see you, Mike. Good to see you, Eric. I heard this beautiful Friday evening. Hello, Kathy. You are resourceful. Absolutely, everyone. Good evening, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl, for all that you do. We are miracles. And if you don't believe you're a miracle, go look it up right now on Google. We hang up this message here on Facebook Live. And you find out the percentages of you being born out of the 97 million others. You are that miracle. You are resourceful. You are enough. 
You are all those things. You've always been it. You just lost yourself along the way from that three-year little old little boy that I just saw in the video walking down waving everybody. Good morning. Hello, good morning. He's just being himself. He didn't care what people thought about him. That's how we should all be. Resourceful, loving, sharing, taking mail to people, bringing them food, bringing them toilet paper, bringing them something, just bringing them a, a listening ears. Sometimes just listen is all we have to do. You know, the tree frog's talking to you, right, Eric? You hear that thing? That little gray one I posted, there's a bunch of them around here. So I'm really enjoying being down here, one with nature in Virginia. Kathy and I went out there with the dolphins the other day in the boat, and now we got the tree frogs. We got an owl living in the tree here. This is how we're supposed to be. Standing still. When we stand still, something magical happens. Many times we think we have to hurry up and get to the next place. The reality is, now that we're being forced to stand still, some of us are getting more productive by standing still. And that is a beautiful space to operate from. So today's message, day number 121, be resourceful. Congratulations to Ken for signing up for the nine-day challenge. He took the challenge yesterday. Good to see you, Chris Scalzo. I challenge every one of you watching this message, take the nine-day meditation challenge. Stand still. Be perfect in his image. You are the miracle. You are enough. And you are resourceful. Say that ten times before bed tonight. And watch how the resources start showing up for you, your loved ones, your kids, your wife, your family. Because you everything it requires within you. And when it's all said and done together, we'll rise as one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. One third of the way there tomorrow. Have a blessed and fantastic evening. You guys, you have not seen nothing.